This is ANN News Brief. Ghanaian President Nana Kufuado has apologized to Nigeria for the demolition of a building at the Nigerian High Commission in Accra. Nigerian President said in a statement on Tuesday, the Ghanaian leader Kufo Ado told President Muhammad Buhari in a telephone conversation that a full investigation into the incident will be carried out, adding that some suspects had been arrested and will be arraigned in court. A newly constructed building at the commission that was to serve as residence for staff and visiting diplomats was pulled down by armed men who reportedly stormed the high commission in the early hours of Saturday and supervised as bulldozers demolished the newly constructed building. The Egyptian government says it will reopen restaurants, cafes and places of worship by the end of the week. Prime Minister Mustafa Madboli said on Tuesday some restrictions will still be in place to limit crowding. Restaurants and cafes had to operate at one quarter of capacity and close at 10 p.m. from Saturday. Mosques will be open for daily prayers. The Prime Minister said weekly Friday prayers are still not allowed. Egypt, Egypt has confirmed more than 58,000 COVID-19 cases and nearly 2,400 persons have been killed by the virus. Recovery rate stands at 15,500. We'll be right back. We are on the road every day, canvassing throughout Africa for news you really need. We follow this story everywhere, from every corner of Nigeria to the wide African expanse. We bring you what's making headlines. We connect you with news you can use. ANN, African News Network, in a truly African spirit. Malawi has begun counting votes after Tuesday rerun of last year's presidential election. Observers say yesterday's polling was largely peaceful. Incumbent President Peter Mutharika had accused the opposition of acts of violence in its strongholds in the center of the country. Reporters say the results may not be declared for several days. The judges annulled Mutharika's narrow victory in 2019's general election following court ruling that there had been evidence of vote tampering. Mutharika is facing a strong challenge from an opposition coalition led by Lazarus Shukwera. Africa's Union's Human Rights Commission has accused the Nalewian government of foul play ahead of the vote by trying to replace the Chief Justice and another judge in the Court of Appeal. That is the NN News Brief at 11. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website, nnafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at NN Africa TV. I'm Lucy Adeyemi.